We have a very special guest with us today. We have the IAFC Career Fire Chief of the Year, James Clack from Ankeny, Iowa. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How does it feel to be honored as 2019? It's a little overwhelming. Uh, it certainly is an honor and a privilege to, uh, to get this award. I never expected it. Well, looking back over your career, what are some of the accomplishments that you're most proud of? You know, I, I think they have to do with people. Um, in Baltimore, we were able to reduce fire deaths to an all-time low uh, by going out and aggressively doing fire prevention in people's homes. Uh, so that certainly was a big accomplishment. I think also in Baltimore, uh, the fact that we got a foundation going again for firefighters that were hurt in the line of duty to help their families, um, and that was very successful. So I think the things that I'm most proud of are the things that have helped people. And when you look back over your career, you were telling me you were the fire chief of Minneapolis and Baltimore. Who are some of the people, uh, whether they were inside the fire service or outside the fire service, who really helped shape and mold your career? Well, I think uh, as far as inside the fire service, certainly Chief Brunacini, Al Brunacini from uh, Phoenix. I'm kind of a protege of his. I followed him for years. I uh, was a very close friend. Uh, and a lot of other fire chiefs. I'm a member of the uh, Metropolitan Fire Chiefs. So the big city fire chiefs and uh, a lot of those folks have helped me over the years tremendously uh, learn what it means to be a fire chief and uh, answered questions. Um, it's a great network. And along those lines, what do you feel is the most effective thing to be a great leader when you're talking about the industry and, and being in fire services? Well, I think to be a great leader in the fire service, you have to love this job. It has to be a vocation, not just something you get up to go to work every day. It's, it really is a love of the job and by extension a love of firefighters and EMTs and paramedics and a love of the public. Uh, loving people, um, trying to help people whether it's inside the organization or the customers we serve. If you have that I think everything follows from that. And then uh, really having a set of values and communicating those values and not compromising them no matter what the situation I think is so important as well. And this really leads into the final question, which is, for those emerging leaders, what advice would you give them? You know, uh, again, just love the job. Find mentors. Find people that can help you. Um, most fire chiefs love to work with up-and-coming fire chiefs. Uh, we're going to do a class, actually, next month in Iowa on how to prepare for an interview to be a fire chief. Those kind of things, just taking advantage of people's experience is so important. And again, um, communicate your values and make sure you don't uh, compromise them is so important. It, it, you can lose everything in just one bad decision. And so uh, keeping uh, that always in mind, but also, as I said, loving the people that you work with and uh, by extension, the people we serve. Great advice. How surprised were you when oh, you announced your name? I was... Uh, I couldn't believe it, actually. It's, it was kind of surreal, so I was very, very happy uh, for my department. Um, it's going to be a great honor uh, to go back to Iowa. I don't know if there's ever been a winner from the state of Iowa, and so I'm sure it's going to be a big deal for, for all my peers as well. Chief James Clack, Fire Chief of the Year, Career Fire Chief of the Year. Congratulations. Thank you very much.